Today we are going to be learning how to make a fantasy stop button. So start off with the pencil, make a new layer. And uh, we're gonna drag some rulers out. If you don't have the rulers, just hit control R on your keyboard. That should bring it out. Um, start off right in the middle, hold shift as you click. It's going to make it a straight line. Click down and just go back. Shape, go to your move tool up here. Control J and uh, control T right click and go flip vertical now you can take these two control j to duplicate it control t and flip horizontal this time now we're going to take these we can use control t to resize it however we would like something something like like this this should be fine just make this a lot bigger control g to group it all up control j and um, this group over here will be a backup just in case we want to go back and make some changes. So this one is going to be the one we are editing. All right, I'm going to control E on all these to bring it into one shape. And I'm going to change the color to red. Something like this. Should be fine. Double click to go into building options. I'm going to add a bevel. And uh, here are my settings over here. You can just copy it and I might change the angle around and you can change this contour shape. All right, that seems fine. Now hold alt and drag this down. It's going to make a duplicate layer. We are going to enlarge this one. Drag this FX to the trash can. I'm going to remove the effects on it. I'm going to move this up, right click and rasterize layer, hold control, click on the thumbnail picture. Select, modify, and contract. And I'm gonna contract about maybe maybe 20. Nope. I'm gonna do 25. All right. Hit backspace. Just gonna cut it out. Go back into blending options and change the color of this. I'm gonna do a dark gray, just like that. It's the uh, same settings, I think. Do an inner shadow if you want. Just bring it up here. Go overlay and uh, go back to this. I'll go inner shadow for this one. Let's bring this in. Let's bring this in. Just like that. And um, all right, we're gonna take this. All right, Control J. Hit Control E. Go to your pencil, make a new layer, and just click across. Hit shape. Clip it in by holding Alt and going between. Make this black. Yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you hit like button, comment down if you have any tutorial suggestions. And uh, see you all next time. Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases.